Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the top 10 Facebook six scaling secrets so we're going to talk about what you need to do to grow your engagement on Facebook what are the things that you can do in Facebook you know what kind of comments what kind of posts what kind of activities can you do on Facebook to grow to 10x to 100x your comments and reactions on your posts you might be thinking it's what you post the quality of your post you know the all those different things sure they they all have a little bit of it but that really is not even in the top 10 things because your content is you and how you get people to see your content is not even about the content you post so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you might be thinking what does this have to do with course income right I mean one of the things that's super important if you want to generate sales of your courses online or if you want to generate uh, you know membership signups to platforms as an affiliate or any of those things you need to have an audience and one of the things to get an audience is to have Facebook posts that people actually see they get to learn who you are they get to know they get to like you they get to trust you and then eventually they buy from you right that's one of the most important things I was actually having a conversation with somebody about Facebook ads right they were telling me well I don't have I don't have any audience so I'm going to use ads and they were asking me questions about specifics you know how do you do this and how do you do that and I, I was you know basically because I've been there right uh, and I've been at the point where I'm like okay well I don't have an audience I'll just do ads right and I did it I spent like 20,000 in ads learning different things trying different things and <clears throat> anybody who it hasn't gone through that will automatically see that and think well you were just doing it wrong right and you know the thing is that the <laughs> it's really a lot more than that but that's beside the point okay before we go into the topic of Facebook scaling secrets and we're going to talk about uh well we're not going <sighs> to I'm going all over the place okay let me just focus here so before I go on I want you to know if you're watching the the if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video right you're going to go on to go check out the video at cis371.jsgagnon.com to see the blog post and the video because I will be sharing my screen and we're going to be showing you a couple things about the Facebook engagement scaling secrets and uh, yeah so let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen right now and let me just show you right over here I have uh, somebody's Facebook page I mean Jessica she's a friend of mine on Facebook and she has amazing engagement on her post look at that 220 comments here 197 comments right here whoops you can't see 66 on a more recent post <clears throat> if I scroll down pretty much everything has got hundreds of comments right 52 this one this is a profile picture 68 uh 63 comments and she's got 115 reactions uh 235 reactions 117 reactions I mean that is totally insane right I mean that is that is what everybody wants if I look at the who is it T Tony Barrett over here he's got well that's a just a recent post but re, you know 59 comments on this one he's got 40 comments on this one he's got 77 comments on that one if I go back to say Veronica over here she's got uh 84 comments here she's got 99 comments here she's got 288 comments if I go to Sandeep over here he's got 141 comments here he's got 165 comments he's got 78 comments 170 I mean it's totally crazy right you look at these people I mean yeah okay he's got something he's selling something he's got a skyrocket your business Sandeep over here right uh Veronica she's got she's got uh, on a mission to help families get and stay healthy right I mean uh Tony Barrett he's selling something right uh want to learn consistently earn high ticket commissions uh Jessica I don't actually know what Jessica other than the fact that it says online marketer motivated coach bitch owner right doesn't really say what she uh why she's what she's selling online I guess 
and um so yeah so this is what we're going to be I'm going to be showing you the top 10 Facebook engagement sailing secrets what I want to do is I want to go through the secrets one by one here really quickly because we don't have a lot of time I don't want to do this in a you know in a short enough video and I want to show you some of my uh re my posts right I'm still in the process of putting that together but if you look at some of my posts um that I have a lot of comments on uh let's see this one here 22 comments it's not you know hundreds but it is more than just a few five over here I've got uh five here uh seven so I'm not the, the this one here 34 comments which is a more than my my other post right this one here I got 10 comments let's see there's another one that I have a lot on <coughs> this one here 83 comments on this post right and the thing is that of course what you post does have an impact right it does have an impact but the secrets to scaling how am I I mean I I I used to get like most of these posts right one two comments no reactions no comments um but you know I'm getting the big the number the higher number of comments on some of the posts because of these things that I'm doing and you might be thinking if you're if you're new to the social game you might be thinking well you know that's not what it is your content is just boring or this or that or whatever the excuses you, you can think of but I know from experience that these things are what's causing the difference sure some of the content like I said does make a difference but the main thing is um is these top 10 secrets okay so first let's go and let's see let's go into the secrets let's go into the secrets I'm actually going to go because I did post that in a group I have a group that's called Facebook engagement scaling secrets you can actually go to that group right now and go and re request to join it uh, basically in this group I've been posting what the secrets are so what we're going to do is we're going to go through down here we're going to go to secret number one and we're going to kind of talk about it explain a little bit about it but I'm not going to I'm not going to um Facebook secret number one I don't know why it's doing this but it does this every time I scroll down <laughs> I think it's because there's some bug in Facebook but okay so secret number one spend 10, 15 to 30 minutes a day commenting on other people's posts so that's that's pretty you know pretty straightforward let's go and create this in here I'm going to create some notes because I already know uh what the secrets are but I will do this in here and we're going to put that in here so number one secrets so let's go top 10 actually I think I might still have it in my page profile no I don't <laughs> so top 10 s s uh, Facebook um engagement engagement scaling secrets right so what are the things that you need to do to grow your Facebook engagement now it's not something that's going to happen over over overnight it's going to take a couple of weeks before it really starts to make a difference but if you keep these if you do these things regularly then it will grow your uh your engagement people will see your stuff because here's the thing one of the main things that people don't realize that until they've had experience on social media is that one of the reasons why people don't see don't well why one of the reasons well the main reason I guess the number one reason why people don't why you don't have a lot of engagement on your posts is because people don't see your post right people have to see your post to comment or react on it it has to show up in their news feed right so so why like people won't go to your profile they won't go visit your profile right they're not going to go and see your profile every day they're not going to click on your profile to go watch see your stuff they're going to go through the news feed just like everybody else they're all going to scroll the news feed to see what's going on and they're going to uh <laughs> they're going to you know engage on that what's in their feed right they're going to comment or like or whatever on the feed so what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your post to the feed that's the secret get your post to the feed and maybe this is one of the secrets I I I well it's not really that's not really a thing right you can't really do that you can't get your post to the feed you have to do things that will cause that so that's not really you know a secret per se as an action you can take but the real secret is getting your posts your posts to show up 
in their feed right in their feed so <laughs> how do you do that how do you get your post to show up in their feed well you take these actions these 10 secrets right so number one number one we have it right here it's spend 15 to 20 minutes commenting on others posts so that that basically means you go through the news feed let's just open up the feed here I'm just going to open up the feed just the feed so this is my feed my feed so I'm going to go through here spend 5 to 15 minutes every day right I'm going to comment like this if it can load up here which I guess my computer's slow like that I can say you know we're about to go live awesome awesome stuff obviously you can you know you, you should be looking at what it is you know using one word what scares you the most when it comes to going live on Facebook um <laughs> it used to scare me but I think nice mistakes so I mean that's an example a post right here I'm engaging on it I'm going through the, the feed right I'm gonna like you know comment and like on things right so keep rocking it have a great day have a great day right so you post you comment on things you go through the feed and things that you actually you know like and you read what what it says here and you actually do a comment that's relevant to what they're posting right that is a number one secret number one is spend 15 well it, it says 15 to 30 it, it could be 5 to 15 it really depends because there's lots of other things to do <coughs> so maybe it should be less than that maybe it should be five five to 15 minutes five to 15 minutes say commenting on others post so that's you know let's just say in the feed right in the feed let's just put in the feed there because there's other things that we're going to talk about number two number two number two is where's number two number two is right here reply to every comment on your post so um that is if you go here whoops control there you go so if I go to my my profile right that's I mean I do it by looking at here's the over here I have no comments yet over here I have two comments which probably one is mine and so if I open this up I can see that there's those comments I haven't replied to so I just you know react and I say it's it was and then then this one here just love it all right so there so you react to every single comment if I go here and look whoops the comments I only have four so view one more comment so I already reacted to these right replied to them no no replies here four comments here I already replied so you go through your feed and you always you know comment whoops I have these comments here I'm pretty sure I replied to all of these so you'll see them in your notifications obviously but you can go straight to your profile and actually re, you know comment on the comments right like react the comments right and say something relevant to whatever they said right so that's number uh, two now number three do we have number three right here number three is right here number three don't just engage on the feed number three don't just engage on the feed go to friends profile so when we talk about <clears throat> that time you spend commenting on things then you should go to your friends right here look at your friends list right here just go to this friend here and I'm going to go and comment on this or like it at least right uh just comment on some of these things forex fundamentals <clears throat> right so you just comment on things that you know obviously make sense and there we go we just comment on stuff we'll go to people's friend post the other thing you can do too is you're going to go to their friends that you are friends with or that maybe you're not so these ones are friends of mine right so if I go now I go to Carl's page and I you know 
uh, comment on this right <clears throat> and then you know I can just react to some of these posts right and so that's kind of what you do you go to your friends profiles all right so number four number four is join groups and spend five to ten minutes a day reaching reacting answer questions in the group so now that's that's num that's number four if you want to do that now how does that work why does why does this work and uh, why are these important to do right the main thing that you have to re realize is that Facebook is about reciprocity remember Facebook is about recipro reciprocity well actually life is about reciprocity right and I don't know if you've heard about the law of attraction and all these different uh, rules that have to do with the uh, uh what has to do with all the different um what, what am I trying to say the, the 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 law of reciprocity the law of attraction all these things they all have to do with you take an action and somebody else is going to take a reciprocal a reciprocal action against your action so if you like people's stuff somebody's going to like your stuff now obviously Facebook is a computer program it's robots it's automation so you know it's not really it's not going to happen on its own but they did program it that way because they want it to be as close as to real social interaction as possible so that means that if you go to a barbecue and you have a, and you have engaging conversations with people and you show interest in their stuff and you ask them questions and you become a person that's interested in other people's stuff that's the only way people are going to be interested in your stuff that's just how it is if you're interested in stuff people are going to be interested in your stuff if you're not interested in other people's stuff nobody cares about you <laughs> nobody wants to to see your stuff so Facebook knows that so Facebook does this reciprocity thing so they actually will show your stuff to they will show your stuff on the feed if you're taking actions against other people's stuff in other words if you're being nice to other people their Facebook is going to make sure that your stuff is seen so that others can be nice to you right that's what reciprocity is that's why you have to do these things so that Facebook knows that you're a team player you're a nice person you're doing things that you're supposed to be doing you're interested in other people's stuff that will sh let Facebook show your stuff so that they can see your stuff and they can you know, reciprocate right okay so that's why you have to join groups and spend five to ten minutes a day reacting and answering questions in groups I'm not going to go and show you but that's basically number four similar to the other stuff you just it's just in groups right number uh I think I have do I have the other ones I think the other ones are oh, I guess not so number is there a way to find number five number five oh, okay so we're on number are we on number five number five so number five go to five to ten friend profiles and love last two posts now that's obviously not the only thing to do number five right is go to five to ten friend profiles and love last two posts now when I say that that could be just a simple action you just have a list of you know 10 friends you go to every day and you just do that right the commenting and all that would be other um activities right obviously you, you don't want to just do that that's one of the things you should be doing right number six uh let's go to find number six number six is right here be consistent patient and persistent right it takes time for reciprocity to kick in as I was saying it's all about reciprocity but it won't happen the same day that you start this you got to do it regularly for multiple days before it happens right number seven number seven is whoops number seven oh what's down here number seven is ask questions in your posts and comments uh so basically you were talking about um a call to action right it's a call to action so if you're posting like for example I just posted this morning about a movie I saw called fat fiction and I asked the question did you see it did you see that 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 movie right and what did you think about it so ask questions that encourages people to to react and answer the question right number eight number eight number eight oops I got the wrong 
so number eight is uh, make sure to enable follow button now that's not specifically a you know engagement thing and, and all that but if you don't have your follow button enabled on your profile people won't be able to follow you if they want to right maybe they don't want to send you a friend request yet but they will follow you just to see what you post so that they have some of that stuff in their feed right so that's another thing you want to do and also you should follow other people right other people that have their follow button enabled right number nine delete posts with low and <laughs> low or no engagement now that's one of the things that I really struggle with because I don't like to delete stuff I feel like well what if somebody sees it later right but the thing is that Facebook has an algorithm to determine whether your posts are of quality by by looking at how many people comment how many people react on your I don't we don't know obviously what the real you know algorithm is but it's you know x number of posts I don't know maybe the last post for the last week or maybe the post for the whole month or maybe the the last five posts I have no idea what it is right but I do know that whenever I delete some posts that have no no reactions no comments or very little uh let's say I go back to my profile here and I delete a few posts I know that now this I just posted just now right just two hours ago so but I didn't get any engagement let's say if I go find something that I posted that I got just very little I got five comments here I don't know if I reacted to this oh yeah that's me commenting so there's just a few things okay but anyways if I go to one of my posts I got seven comments here uh got 34 here is there a post that I have no comments on that I mm. Let's see, maybe this one. This one has no, I have nothing, right? You want to learn how to use gift cards, whatever, right? So I posted that. There's nothing here. So I'm just going to go and delete it. Just go here, delete the post, move to trash, right? Uh, I Let me just do that so you can actually see if I go here. You see there's a move to trash right there? Well, you can't see it. Let me move that out of there. See how there's a move to trash right there? So just select that and then it'll ask you are you sure you want to do that it it'll be in the trash for 30 days you can always restore it but it's basically deleted it's no longer on your post it's on, no longer on your profile right and what happens is that increases the overall score if you will of your profile by having more posts that are you know active or or have some reactions on them right so that's kind of how that's kind of what you want to do you want to delete some of these posts okay number 10 send a pm to five people you know what I'm actually not doing that I probably should start doing it again I haven't um I haven't done that in a while I do send pms I mean I'm I'm engaging on some other but I'm not sending pms to new and this should probably be to five five uh new people right it should be new people people that you haven't engaged with recently right let me move that back here you know people that you haven't sent messages to recently uh new people right that's that should be something you should be doing I should probably do that I'm sure that would help with the engagement on my case too but I anyways so we said the top 10 let's keep going let's keep going because there are more tips I have number 11 over here I have react and comment on your own post too so uh that's one of the things that some of the leaders do you go through and, and that's something I probably I'm not doing enough either if I go back to my profile here I can say I'm just going to react to this I'm going to say it's a great documentary on the food guide on the, uh, uh, on the food guide uh you need to watch this if you're interested in your health there so I'm just going to comment right I can go back through here I can add I did already react to this because it's my wife's post but if I look this one here so much to do what are you working on I'm just going to say I'm working <coughs> I can just say you know I can actually do, do this right I can just put a emoji I'll just put a question mark question just like that so you can do just 
reactions like this just to kind of make and what that does is it causes your some of notifications some of them Facebook is going to notify oh jean Serge commented on his own post and then it might in, might encourage them to come and comment on your post that's why you do that right so number 11 after that we have number 12 number 12 manage your friends remove and add five to ten a day and that's something that I'm also not doing which I should be doing um but let's do that 12 number 12 um and then let's see what else do we have number 13 post to stories every day now that's something I do and that's something that also helps to increase your engagement because if people see your story they're likely to comment or react to it and maybe go to your profile right depending on so if you don't post your stories they won't see you right I'm not saying that it's but Facebook wants you to post stories so why not right number 14 I think I have up to 15 in here so find a post find busy posts in your niche and engage on profiles of commenters all right that's another one to to try let's get the uh, let's get the question out of there because that's not really do you use stories I don't need those in the uh in the these are questions like I said right ask questions in your post right so number 15 I think that's where I stopped these number 15 let's just do that <laughs> and then make sure to post some personal stuff sometimes so one of the things is that on Facebook it's a social network people want to know about people if you're always posting about business or or you know quotes or things that are you know kind of business related never personal stuff then less people would be interested in your stuff because you know you don't seem like a real person you seem just like a business right trying to sell them something so post some personal stuff some say the rules are uh 10 20 percent business stuff everything else personal or at least without a call to action which means posting something without asking them to go subscribe to your channel or or you know like your page or go to your pro or go to some some uh, capture page and enter their email those kinds of things those are all <coughs> you know business related call to action related they're not personal they're not so post about your family post about your stuff things that you're okay posting publicly because you know Facebook even if you're not uh, by the way that's another thing you should be a public profile should be posting public things it's a business after all you're in business you're trying to generate income but you're not trying to you're not going to try to sell with every single post it's not going to work you got to build a business so those are the secrets to growing your engagement that now as I do this regularly myself um I will be uh, building I'm actually building a tool to help with this stuff right now this tool is very basic I'm just going to show you what it right now it's still I'm still in the building stage it's called social pro manager and if I click and I can put some groups in here the idea is that I want to be engaging on on fresh new content also that's another thing that's important is you want to be engaging on fresh new people right every single day you want to go and check so what I do is I just click the start button it starts to uh it starts to navigate some of the these groups that I chose and then it just scrolls through them <laughs> you'll see that um it's not super fast because we it's on purposely slow so that it's it behaves like a human you don't want to be good you don't want to need any kind of tool to go too fast whether it's and this this tool does not automatically post for you that's something that I don't want to do I don't want to have an automation on this at least not in the beginning anyways maybe later on I'll do that but for now this is just a tool that captures profiles and comments of people that that are posting in groups that you're interested in so you would choose groups that you want to engage on and then you would let it run and pick up the post you'll see what this does in a second after that <laughs> what happens is is that it'll give you a list of profiles of people that are actually engaging on the content in the group so now when I click on view data here I see the links to the profile the people that have commented on some stuff so over here there's the click funnels group there's different groups that I that I chose so if I go to here now this is this person here who I don't know has commented in the group they're active so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use that and right now this person doesn't have a 
<clears throat> doesn't have um oh yeah that's a different one this person doesn't have public posts so I can't necessarily comment on this stuff is that her yeah it is okay that I can just like this and I can say looks looks yummy right it's food so that's yummy and then you can engage on some of their things and then you go to the next one and then you now you have another person that's engaged in one of your groups chances are it's somebody that you uh, want to you know interact with you want them to see you you want them to and Facebook will also potentially show your post to this person's feed if you're you know commenting and engaging on their stuff right so that's kind of how it works and so that's what the tool does it gives you the list and you can do that every morning for example then you just click through some of these you don't have to do them all obviously but as you can see right now well actually you can't see let's move that down here as you can see right now it says there's 91 uh links uh seven pages right and that lists you all the all the posts I can go to the next page right next page next page and I can click on any of these links you can see right here that's me <laughs> I can click on any of these links to go see and if I look at them uh say for example see these ones these are people that have engaged in the and the way the tool does work is it gets the last five posts and then goes and gets the last the top the first five commenters on all of those posts and then it builds this list right so that gives you the list of the people that engage on the last posts in the groups that you're interested in so that you know that they're active they're live people they're actually active they're actually posting in groups or commenting on things in groups and you know who they are so that lets you do that so that's kind of how that works so that's the tool that I'm building right now it's not available yet but if you're interested in you can certainly ask about it uh, you can certainly ask me about this tool social pro manager Facebook tool uh, it's going to be you know available soon but you can get on the waiting list you can get on the list to actually get access early access to it and that's going to be happening pretty soon but I just kind of want to show you that that's what I'm doing with this engagement stuff right these engagement things um there is going to be let's just go back here uh list there you go so Facebook um so so that's actually it's called social social pro manager Facebook for Facebook so there's a for Facebook so that will be available at so fb I'm not even sure what I'm going to call it but anyways you can go to socialpromanager.com to go check out it that page is going to get updated with access and things like that for now it's just very rudimentary page it doesn't have much on it but you can go there and you can go and check it out oh look at that I, yeah it's right there okay put that back down here and so yeah so that's how all this is being done all right so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions about you know creating content building engagement and the secrets to engagement go ahead and reach out you're also going to be able to get this little ebook if you want as well which you can print off and just have you know the list of things you should be doing every day kind of thing right on your desktop or, or on a piece of paper or, or whatever you want and yeah so that's <laughs> that's it for today you have a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time